Yo, what's up, Square Pit Brigade? On this episode, we have comedian Carmen Lynch, good friend of the show. She's been on before. We discuss the value of therapy, why people like certain body types, um, what body what body types women like, uh, dating a little person, fake asses, body dysmorphia, and what a guy's responsibility is. Also, if y'all like what we're doing, please, please, please uh, support us on the Patreon. Patreon is uh, patreon.com uh, slash manschool202. And this episode, we keep going with uh, Carmen Lynch. And we, and actually, this is a fun one. Dante talks about this, which I didn't understand, the bidet, his addiction to bidets. <laughs> he has a bidet addiction. We get into that. Dante names some names, and you're going to be shocked at some of the names he names uh, who fucking giving him a little shade. So uh, that and, and uh, more relationship stuff. So Definitely check us out at uh, patreon.com slash manschool202. We appreciate it because it keeps the show rolling and, uh, the, you know, a little contribution. You get some bonus content. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. What's up, what's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted and I am excited. Nice. Uh, this is a special show. Now, I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I mean it. We got a special guest tonight, I'm, and I really, really mean it. I love this girl, but we'll get into that in a second. Harry, how you feeling, bro? I'm doing great, man. Yeah. I'm doing great. New year, new things. Yeah. I don't know why you'd ask me that. You know well, goddamn well I'm doing great. I apologize. I apologize. Yeah. And uh, I got a call from Andre. Andre got a little break in, uh, oh. in his thing, so he uh, he's still scared to come in the studio. Oh, for real? Um, but... Oh, uh. but he said, uh, he, they, we, we, we're going to get him in here soon. All right, so I'm all excited right. about that. Get Andre back in this. Um, let me, let me uh, introduce our guest. Uh, uh, this young lady's funny as shit. Um, good friend of mine. Um, she's been on the show before. She's done... Con- what did you do? Letterman? Uh, not Letterman. Um, I did Letterman. Fallon. Did you do Letterman? Letterman. Yeah. Fallon. What else? You did Fallon, something? Conan, Colbert. She knocked them all out. Mm. All of them. I, could, I couldn't have missed. <laughs> I, there's no way I could have missed. I um, think she did Dr. Oz. She I mean, did she Dr. Did, Oz. She's done so much stand-up. She did Rachel Ray and Ricky yeah. Lake. She did Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did those all too. Yeah, I did bench. Carson once. <laughs> did I Carson. did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She did Tom Snyder. Tom Snyder. Uh, Late Late Show. <laughs> Richard Bay. She it just sounds Richard. like I fucked them all. Uh, I did him. I, I did yeah. that. Um, um, hey, whatever um, you got to do. I don't judge. Uh, I don't judge at this give point. It I'm Carmen gonna, Lynch, Carmen Lynch. Give it up for Carmen Lynch. Carmen Lynch. Hi, the everybody. Fantastic and funny. Carmen Lynch. Thank you for having me. I haven't been here in so long. I know. We always enjoy it. Been, we've been talking about getting you on every, every time I see you. We're like, yo, you gotta come back on. You gotta come back on. Well, it's always fun because we always like talk. We break down relationships. Yeah. And yeah. you, for a man, you know so much. You have given me. You have. You have advocated <laughs> for me to so many people. Like just like you. You'll be like Dante knows what he's talking about. You always. I really do, but because I mean, so many guys have this wall where they either don't want to break it down more, or they just they're ignorant, and you speak the language of a woman well i mean it's, i mean both you know well, yeah i mean i know what you mean i, I mean you don't have to clean that up it's uh <laughs> i always say if you want to know how to how to uh how relationships work um you got to ask somebody who's been a hoe um <laughs> yeah just like therapists like i want my therapist i think has been through hell and back yeah, yeah. and i prefer that how do you know that? Have you, she, because she'll just mention things every once in a like while, what? like like, what? like um, you know, her husband died of AIDS, and <laughs> then like, her, blah, blah, blah. and then she's been divorced a bunch. You know what I mean? Like she's been, yeah, she's been in the gutter, it. so she knows. Hopefully, this wasn't all in the first session. <laughs> right? I'm hoping. That's I think not that would have scared me off. off. Yeah, yeah. 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 I I find that because when I do the consultations. Um, you know, people go to therapists and they, and they, you know, they talk to people and they, and you know, they have certain clinical ideas about things, but they don't have a real world case study. Do you know what I mean? They they don't have real world experience. And I always, it's almost like this, this clinical kind of sanitized advice that people give because they've never experienced anything. And, and. Like one of the things that people always say, you know, you gotta communicate more. You gotta com- com- you gotta communicate. Um, yes and no. I think people talk too much. 
Yeah. People talk way too they much. They don't listen enough. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Um, go ahead, say, finish what you were going to say. No, Andrew. I was going to just say, it, talk. yeah, talking is, I, I find people who talk a lot are usually not good listeners. You know, because they don't have time. They want to hear themselves talk. Yeah, yeah. And it's one thing to to listen and to uh, listen for what the person is saying. It's yeah. not just hearing them, but it's really, well, it is hearing. It's hearing yeah. what they it's want. It's really hearing yeah, you're Right, yeah. right, right, right. They, and they all, I think they're all, I think I've come to this conclusion that people are liars. Like, pe- people lie so much. It's so, even sometimes when they don't even think they're lying, I, I mm. think that they have a, a perceived uh, idea of how they perceive them, you know, how they perceive themselves, and then they're giving you this narrative so that you can go, oh, he, you're, oh, you're this type of person. And it's really interesting that sometimes it's what people don't say. Um, you know, when you ask people questions, it's it's sort of like a Rorschach test. There's no real significance of whatever that image is. So your personality puts. You put your own uh, value value on yeah. whatever that arbitrary symbol is. So, for instance, I, I was doing this consultation with a guy. Uh, I have a I have a plan that I put guys through this just to make them better men and and stuff. And I and it's a little extensive, and I do it like in in in, in really small increments, so it's comfortable to them. Mm. And um, so I asked the guy. I, one of the things that I think is interesting is that you, we are insecure about things, and we're aware of it. Even if we're not cognitively w- aware of it, we are insecure about certain things. And then when asked about those things, even if we're not conscious of it, we say things to cover it up as if because it's, it's a point of being exposed. Mm-hmm. So I said to the guy, I said, uh, how do you consider you, what do you consider yourself in terms of your looks? He goes, well, I'm, I'm a pretty decent looking guy. I'm about an eight. And uh, I go, well, how do you, how, what do you think about your body physically? And he goes, you know, I, um, you know, I'm, I work out and stuff. He says, but I got a belly, you know, I got a belly. And, uh, but, you know, some girls like bellies. And I go, okay, s- stop. Um, which is not true. It's not untrue that some girls do. But liking is the wrong word. Accepting a belly is fine. I know girls that like. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, isn't that that whole dad bod thing? Yeah, but if if, if my boyfriend has a belly, and if he was like, I'm going to start doing sit ups, I wouldn't wouldn't stop him. I wouldn't be like, but I like your belly. I I love his belly. I'll accept his belly. Right. I've had girls say to me, I like like where I was losing weight, and they were like, I feel like just did not like it. I mean, remember, um, God bless the dead, but remember Ralphie May? Yes. Ralphie May's girl was a chubby chaser. Yeah. She liked fat dudes. And not, I mean, not just fat dudes, but she liked obese dudes. Like, that was her thing that she found that attractive. And I'm not saying it's an overall kind of thing where it's a, it's a mat where people, you know, people would always, I think genetically you want a fit body. A fit body is, is more attractive. And even though she likes my belly, she, I, I think she still sees other men who are, fit as attractive but i think that's more on a visceral level than it is she likes my okay i have have so many questions sure okay Mm. uh when a woman like and first of all ralphie may when you say belly no offense to ralphie may Mm. but there's a spectrum of bellies okay so i start to wonder like yeah yeah. and i'm like does she does she see health because health is an issue right at some point uh why do you want someone with that at that size, are you not concerned? Like when I tell my boy, my boyfriend has been told he's borderline obese, right? And that doesn't take much. I think it's like twenty pounds yeah, over yeah. your weight. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and he's like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm borderline obese. And I'm like, well, I mean, let's just cut bread out. It's not a big. You don't have yeah, to yeah. lose a hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, but I say that because I want him to live. You want him right? Not right. because. If he was fine, if he was not unhealthy, like like whatever, I wouldn't care. I love h- snuggling with him. He's like a yeah. pillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and he's only twenty pounds overweight. Right, right, right. But when you hear how tall someone, is he? He's five eleven. Okay. So when he's uh, when I hear someone who's obese, doesn't that like? Why yeah, does somebody I, like a chubby chaser? Aren't they concerned about that person's life? Yes, but I mean, you know, 
why do you like? Uh, I mean, some I people mean, like got, vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Somebody like yeah. chocolate. It's just yeah, what yeah, you yeah. like. Or you I mean, you just you just focus on that one thing that brings you the positivity. You know, like guys love women with big tits, but we never go, man, her back, her lower back. <laughs> Yeah. What about yeah. Yeah. the but I, stress but and the apnea she might have at yeah. night? Like, we don't, I want to get a breast reduction. Like, what are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. You know, let's but not I, do anything. I rational. don't think big breasts are rational. are uh, lethal yes. either. But no, but it, I'm yeah, saying but we don't think if, of the negativity. If yeah. a woman, yeah. Yeah, sure, you can have somebody petite with huge tits, but if she's petite and she has a C cup, it looks huge on her. Yeah, if yeah, she's yeah. A hundred pounds or ninety pounds, and she's got a, a B, a, a, a C cup or whatever, a B cup. Like, we're, you know, we're talking about big McGuffies, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> McGinty's, <laughs> you know, McGinty's. and, and, I've, and I've there's guys, I McGinty's. know guys that just, love, but you're not going to be a slim girl with, I mean, unless they're fake, right? It's, it's fat. And I mean, not only that, if you look at bodybuilders and really fit women, when they lose weight and they become more all lean, their breasts get smaller. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. what it is. But... I, I, I think it's kind of, I mean, you have to look at it in the same context. That this is, whatever it is you like, you, there's an arbitrary attraction yes. to it. And yeah. you don't really know why, you just... You just like it. You just do. I yeah. mean, I, I, you know, I know a, a good friend of mine, he loves hot food. He eats ghost peppers. Jesus. Which is like, what, just, what's the... the, 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 the Covals. Covals, they know. call it. You measure the hotness by covals, like... So like uh, jalapenos is like uh, like five thousand covals and uh, ghost peppers is like a million covals. You know, it's just so hot. And does but he have any taste buds left? Probably not. But I mean, that's does he not have an me. asshole left? Uh, I don't. I mean, oh I didn't really true. check his asshole. Thanks, but I thanks mean, for asking. He's probably me. falling out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, or it's not in good condition. It's it's like sheetrock that's water damaged. I, I've always at some in, point. I, I, on Instagram. I always uh, post pictures of hot, hot um, little people. Like I, I like a little hot, a little hot midget. I do. Yeah, I, yeah, mm. yeah. It, and I, I Are don't. You want it done with that, or do you want? Would you like date them for a while? I dated. I dated. Like, one. is it an experimental thing? Like, I just want to try it's it. It's happened too many times for it to oh. be experimental. <laughs> <laughs> you fix one pipe. And then, where do you find them? I, well, I, I don't. I mean, I was just kind of lucky the first time I, I dated this chick. I used. I, that, did I tell that story? You but, have, but tell it again. It's uh, been five hundred episodes. So, uh, I it, at the time I was I was I was stripping. I was a male stripper, mm -hmm. and I used to, This was before social media, and I used to go to the train station and just hand out my business card. I would hand it out to everybody, and then this girl calls me up. And she goes, oh, you handed me my your card and such and such and such. And she was in college, and we were talking on the phone. It was like phone sex on, on and whatnot on the phone and whatever. And then we never, like, this went on for, like, two years. And then one summer, I was like, well, where you at? And she was like, she lived really, literally, like, five blocks away from me. I was like, well, why don't, you know, it's a slow Tuesday. Yeah. Why don't you come through? Mm -hmm. And uh, she came through, and, and uh, I, the bell rang. And I went out and I looked out the window. I didn't see nothing. I went back, right? And then the bell rang again. And I was, I, I was like, these kids fuck with it. I opened the door and there was this little person there, right? And I was like, oh, and like I panicked at first. And then I was like, oh, let's let's go for a walk because I literally was embarrassed. I was like, let me get her away from the house before my friends come around. Like I was like hiding her. Yeah. And then we um uh we went to the corner to Eastern Parkway. We sat on the bench. And um and I was like and I'm so I'm now making stall I'm I'm stalling and kind of making excuses because the norm I didn't really explore whether I dug this or not. Wait, didn't you give her your business card on the train? Yeah, but I give I, I oh you weren't paying attention thousands okay, of okay, business okay. cards. Okay, okay, flyers more than business cards. Okay, like okay. Pro show promoting. No, no, okay. it was business cards. Oh, it was business cards. Yeah, don't interrupt me and do that again. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, you've never been wrong. <laughs> That's correct. Dante's never no, no, been wrong. but it was business cards. It started. was business cards? Yeah, yeah. For I, stripping. Yeah, yeah. I would, uh, you'd okay. hand out cards. Women would put it in their purse, and then gotcha, somebody gotcha. would have a bachelorette party. Right. And they would okay. be like, oh, we should get a strip. I got this card. And bam. And you, yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. So um, I'm with her, and I'm going, uh, I'm like, yeah, at the time I used to drag race, 
right? And I used to work on my car and, and drag race. I used to live life one quarter mile. I at mean, a who's time. a drag racer and a stripper? That's an amazing memoir. I kind of does it go together. The no, problem I is, like that anytime Dante puts that in a screenplay, people are like, "What the fuck are we supposed to do with this? This is not nobody's real. gonna believe this." Nobody. Plus, you, you, I picture you drag racing, and then you get out of the car in a thong. Yeah, well, I'm like that, you're just but he's back buddy from has the, the helmet. Club. He's got all the safety <laughs> stuff on, but just the thong, like the gloves amazing. and the helmet. Yes. I'm trying to think. Wait, so I'm... I have so many questions already. Okay, okay so when you, because I, when you, when you see a little person, is that the right term they want? Yeah, a okay, person. when you see a little person, there is a sense of panic that arises, and is this the panic you're talking about? Yes, like, initially, because I've met, like I've done sketches and stuff, and uh-huh. I did a sketch with a little person, and I knew that the person was going to be there because they right. were part of the but sketch. But then when you saw them, you're like, but when you ah! see them, you're like, oh my god, how do I act? And I, I even act like that with regular short people because I'm so right, tall, right, right? And like, especially men because they're so insecure about being short, right, right? And I, and again, you're tall, and I'm so and, tall, yeah. and it's, it's now. now I'm talking about regular short guys, but like when you when I hug them, sometimes they'll joke and be like, "Don't lean over." For, I'm like, "What do you want to hug my tits?" Right, like right, right, right. I have to lean over. Right, right, right. So you have these like like worries, and they come in when you see a little person because you're like, "What is the?" the uh, ethical thing to do, you right. know, do I shake his hand and lean down? I don't want to be rude. You don't want to go, hey, little fella. Exactly, right. you know, right. and then especially, I'm sure, when you might hook up with them. <laughs> it's like, like if you were on a bench, immediately I was like, do you, did you help her on the bench or did well, she jump on she her? she was herself? kind of a, a tall midget. Like, if okay. it was a midget basketball team, she'd, she'd be, be the, the center. center. <laughs> she'd be, like, power forward yeah. in the center. So, um... You know, so she reaches on the high shelves of all the little people. Yeah, in the yeah. House. She right. was, uh, she's she like was, the Carmen of midgets. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. How tall are you, Carmen? Six feet. Six yeah. feet, even. So we, I, I start explaining. Well, you know, I'm always working on my car, and I'm always working, and la 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 la, and I, and I'm trying to, I'm working so much because I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get this dual turbo for my car, and she goes, well, I could buy that for you, and I was like, guess who's fucking a midget, right? Oh, <laughs> I so, could buy that for you just because she's so loaded. I yeah, she said I would get. What that did she do? I forget. I always forget. Her father was like a doctor. Ah, okay. So she just had money, and then she was in college and stuff. And uh, she 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 bought the turbo, and she bought the Canon. Uh, did free you feel food. a pressure to stay for a certain amount of time because she uh, bought you those? Well, things? what happened was it. Uh, at the, she went to Wagner College, and I I went and. Met her at Wagner College, and then I was like, and then I was kind of turned on by it. And then Harry will tell you that there's that always you were turned on by it. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I was like, cause, <laughs> I mean, that specifically. <laughs> well, you know that I've always said that. I mean, no, no, know, you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not only that, the whole thing that I me thought and you Patrice, meant that specifically. I wasn't there. Me and Patrice, when we did the Black Phillips show, yeah. we had an argument because he likes BB. He likes big fat women. Yeah, and I said, I mean, I don't, I'm not into that. And he was like, but you like, he was like, you like little people. And he's like, that's a fetish for big women. And I go, it's the same thing, motherfuckers. So right. And then once yeah, I, it's just a different <laughs> little yeah. I dated her, and then when I broke up, she tried to get all the car parts back. But it was, you know, I felt like I had put enough that good dick in that I thought it was. <laughs> How long did you guys <laughs> stay together? I mean, when we say together, what do you mean? I w- she was a, amongst a crew of oh, okay. different of of women, but I hung out with her. I went, we went to, I went to the to, uh, I went to campus and we hung out and we, I you know we would go, hang out and go to parties and yeah. stuff like that. And I, I didn't really care. It was kind of, it was kind of sexy. Yeah. Um, and then uh, then I always had a thing. And then Nick, remember Nick Novicki? Yes. So Nick used Comedian to Nick do. Comedian Nick Novicki. Yeah, he used to do comic. He he did. Uh, he's still around. Right. Walk Empire LA, stuff like yeah. that, which is he's like a little, he's like a tiny Malcolm X for little people. He, you know, that's like the N word, and but he would, yeah. and then he would take the first elf. Uh, he would take the first elf job that a co- that somebody <laughs> wanted. Like, shut up, Nick. Yeah. Um, but me and Nick was tight, and he had they have these festivals where it's all little people show up like it's a whole like thousands of little people and i was like i don't know i want to come and he was like no nah, you just you're already creepy about <laughs> like, <laughs> but he used to do shows 
with little people, and it was you like, wanted to go to the festival, uh, so you would have yeah. torn through it like a sexual Godzilla. Yeah, I was just like, Rrr, Rrr. so this is what, like, what kind of a festival? Like they're doing performing? No, it's just a I mean more festival. of a convention than a more of a convention okay. than a festival. Yeah, maybe I yeah. should. I don't. What's the difference, Harry? You because you're looking at me disgusted. Like, I'm well, a festival like, would be like a concert or a like. Uh, like you know, well, if you party have, and if you have like a, a convention is more like if they you have, have like a uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, where they joust and shit. What do they call oh, it? Oh, that's a, oh, I know what that is. It's yes. a medieval festival. Yes, I've been. Oh, I've been like to a Renaissance a, fair. Yeah, like, yeah, a, like Renaissance a Renaissance fair. Festival. Right. Okay. Well, well so it was like a, just right. yes, like a I, festival then. Little people though. You know what? That's amazing. I did a show ages ago. I don't even remember where it was. I think it was somewhere in Maryland and. Uh, and there was a Renaissance festival staying at the same hotel oh, that oh, right, I right. was staying at. Right, right. And it was incredible because they were all dressed up in costumes and, and there they were talk, little people. They talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they, they had uh, like little gadgets and 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 like like swords little and swords all kinds and of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, But I was there just coincidentally. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It was so cool. Yeah. Well, there was a festival and Nick used to do promotion for they have these organizations, little people organizations. Mm. I, it's something. Cause it's still, let's, I like a fat ass, mm. and I've always liked short girls with fat ass. I mean, so it was like. But isn't your baby mama tall? Yeah, but I like tall. Uh, uh, Maybe you just don't have to pick. Like you just yeah, like it all. I, why yeah. should you? You could, yeah. you could right? like a variety. I, yeah, of I shit. like yeah, pizza yeah. and Chinese food, right? I yeah. could like them both. <laughs> but I, it does. Hey, you ever uh, you ever get one thing at a Taco Bell and then stop at a Wendy's for the fries? I've done I've, that I've many, done, I've, many times. I've done McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Taco Bell, and Burger King at oh, the same geez. time. So, but um, and Nick had this thing, and I and it was all these little people, and it was a couple of hot. Some of them, like there was this one hot one. She could just tell I was thirsty. Uh-huh. And she just kind of, she, like, the other ones were, like, playing with me and taking pictures and stuff. But she was like, yo, this motherfucker's trying to fuck me. Oh, so you went? Yeah, I, oh, did, I, a, did. I did his thing a couple of times. Oh, nice. And then, so is that out of your system, or is it not a, a no, fetish? No, and like, I just still, I, you okay. just watch my Instagram story. I was, right? I always got to. I haven't seen a little person. I, oh, yeah, every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's got to be a hot one. I'm, I'm not, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not in, I'm not in the script simply because you're short. Right. It's got to be a hottie. Yeah, yeah. Like a little major stripper or a little little person stripper or something with a fat ass and she's pretty face and So if you're listening I'm in. Everybody knows in. they always laugh. I mean whenever I post it, everybody goes, Oh yeah, I remember when you and Patrice had this kind of people always Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. You know I don't give a fuck what nobody of thinks. Of course. I love that. Um but um it was kind of a thing for me. And I've had a couple and I've like, yo, what's up? You know, and yeah. Then, and you know, I don't, I don't really. It's not a. I don't think it's a fetishization because of the fact that I still want them to be That's, attractive. Yeah. <laughs> when you take the ankles and you move yeah, like a yeah. like a Nordic track. You know what I mean? It's like. I mean, that is the advantage of not being tall because yeah. when you're tall, it's you like got legs everywhere. Legs, from it. it just you. It's hard to move around. Yeah. You know. Thanks. Uh, thanks for that. Yeah. I mean, it's say, true. Yeah, yeah. Like, you like know? A, but I, I kind of like that, too, a lay in here. Yeah. That it's kind of yeah. sexy, too. I'm, a, I'm a kind of a weirdo, you know? I mean, I'm open. So it, it was just a thing. But um, what were we talking about? Oh, so, yeah, so uh, we, we hung out maybe, like, it was like a summer, maybe about five, six months, and then, you know, and then I just kind of moved on. But I've always had this kind of thing for a hot, like, I love that little, uh, what's the little porn star? With the gap in the teeth, um, Pinky. Well, Pinky is yeah. almost a little person. <laughs> yeah, she's tiny, but she's got a. She's like five three with a like a ridiculous. So it even looks more like a. No, it's like a, a ridiculous what ass? Uh, asses. We have to talk about asses for a second. Okay. Sure, why, because why I'm know? sure you know the difference between a real one and a fake one. Mm-hmm. Sure. But yeah. like before COVID, I would go to my gym. And I just couldn't believe the how Brazilian many, butt lift. Yeah, yeah. how the many BBLs. Kim Kardashian asses yeah, yeah. Yeah. were, and I, you know, sometimes I'll get a trainer just to like learn new weights, yeah, yeah. tricks or whatever. And my trainer was like, okay, see that one over there? That's a fake one. And I go, how can you tell? And he goes, because her legs are right. not. Right, the legs don't match. They the don't match the ass. So if you, got yeah. a, if you got a black girl and she's got a ridiculous booty. Yeah. And it's out. 
right, it's it it matches the thighs match. So it doesn't look like a blow pop. You know what I mean? Like exactly. Skinny like leg. she's got bigger legs, so she's got a big ass. Sure. Yeah. But every once in a while, you see a skinny leg girl with yeah. a big ass, it's, and I'm yeah. like, horrible. that's not even attractive. It looks crazy. No, it's a form of a uh, body dysmorphia. It's yeah, but no, it's, yeah. it's, it's, I just kind of get mad. Like, what doctor is going to, I don't know. I guess they have to. I'm like, an ass expert, right? Mm. So, yeah. You will, Several like, degrees. Yes, I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> like, donkeys, like, too. Like, yeah. like, Latino women usually will have genetically, I'm not, and you know, I mean, we're making generalizations, yeah. but Latino women will usually have what you call a dewdrop ass, where it has weight at the bottom, but it's not. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of comes up like a teardrop, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Black women, when they have a big, and there's black women with no ass, but then yeah. black women that has an ass, it it's like basketballs. It's like the totally, peak is yes. at the top. Yes. It's a difference. Three but, dimensional. Almost. But you yeah. have you have these um the big legs. You know, they're not little women. It, and, but even when you when you when they're big legs and stuff, it's just ridiculous. You know, it's so ridiculous. It looks insane, especially yeah. when they're at the gym. And I'm like, yeah. how can your little legs hold up yeah. this big ass? Yeah. So uh, so someone like J-Lo, is that a real ass? That was a real ass. But mm-hmm. she also has a dewdrop. drop. Like, her ass is not crazy. It's not. I mean, it's amazing, but it's not It's not crazy. It doesn't look ridiculous. So did all the Kardashians get a yes. fake ass? They're yes. all yes. fake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except for, like, the, the girl who doesn't have that ass, the uh, model girl. Right. Well, if you look at... Kendall, the one of the gym. Jenner's? Kendall. Yeah. Kendall. Yeah, but if you look like at them, if you ever see pictures of them before all the plastic surgery? Yeah. I mean, not their asses. I don't look. No, but it, I no. mean their, fa- but their faces. Everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't. They, they don't look, look like regular yeah, women. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, it's so much done. I mean, if you look at Chloe and uh, uh, Tori Spelling now. Oh my God. They Tori look Spelling ex- now. Yes, they look exact. They, Chloe looks like Tori say. Spelling. Right, it's almost like you have the Weird. Chloe thing. Because Chloe, I feel like we knew her so well, like five years ago. She yeah. did hers late. Because like yeah. Kim Kardashian, I feel like has had this face. She must have had it done when she was like yes, twelve or something. Like seven, Fifteen. But Chloe, yeah. I feel like changed like. If you recently. look at look at bring up uh, Tori Spelling. But Tori, I'm at it now. Tori, I but Tori remember looked like from, a fish. Well, Tori, I remember from De- Beverly Hills. Is that what yeah, it's called? Yes. Yeah, and her arms, it was the same with the ass and the legs, yeah, but her yeah. arms this and her breasts, spelling? they Korean? were like. Mm. Hold on. She I'll... looks like, you can't tell her. That's proportional. Yeah, that's her? That's Let me see. Like next to, what, is that the. That's the one I looked up, and I didn't put in Kardashian. Yeah, that's her. Weird. They, it's I mean, almost exactly like, like Khloe Kardashian. They kind of look the same, but I can they tell like, the difference. But yeah. but I mean, half. But uh, you gotta yeah. see. The, go if you go Tori most recent. You can't. You can't, you almost can't tell the difference. Maybe between they go them, to the but, same doctor. Well, I put Tori. Yeah, Tori Spelling, twenty twenty one. It's. Put, yeah. yeah, this is. Uh, Mo- just put most recent. Most recent. All right, yeah. Tori Spelling, most. Recent. But um, yeah, but I, I, it's a, it's. It's become ridiculous. The other thing is a lot of times, you know, they take the fat from other places and they put it in the Yeah. Life. But that also, you got to get that redone because the fat dissipates to other places again. So you got to do lipo. You, yeah. It's a, it's yeah, that's a, her. She looks just like a... Uh, it looks like twins. Like a Kardashian. Ew. It's that's crazy. creepy. But, but that's not bad for Tori because Tori was hideous. She was hideous She was like a, a fish. She looked, well, she looked like an, an alien or a yeah, chameleon. Yeah, because like a, her eyes are the We're side on the side. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I think that, the, you know, the culture of it has changed. Also, what is a guy, how do you, how do you feel? Well, how many, how, ugh. how do most men feel when it's so drastic like that? Like, I'm all for whatever you need or whatever, you know, because most people I find who look great do v- very subtle things. Like, if you look yeah. at, like, yeah. someone famous like Julia Roberts or Meryl Streep, you know they've had yes. shit done, yeah. but it's it's very it's subtle, been done yeah. very subtly, who and else, it, um, they still look their age. Who's the one that did sure. Black Box? Uh, Black Box? Black he, Mirror? No, Black Box. Black uh, Box? Uh, Bird Box. What was it? Uh, oh, oh, Sandra Bullock. Yes. She's really subtle. Yeah, but for a while she looked like an alien. Yes, yeah, she it was It calmed crazy. down now. Like, same with Nicole well, what Richards. Happens, not, is Nicole it? Uh, Kidman. Kidman. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. what happens is you stretch it tight, and it... it it releases like remember Joan Rivers had some terrible ones, and then by the yeah. by the time she was like at the end, she looked all right. Yeah, but if it's you also stretch the it, swelling. 
It's the swelling. Yeah, yeah, the swelling. Like, if you look at the dude from Casino, he looks crazy. He looks like a cat. Casino. Now. Who's that? Uh, the Italian guy from, uh, is it Casino? Yeah. De Niro? Uh, uh, uh Put the gun down. Put the you know like where he wakes up and the girl the gun is in. The oh, uh, Henry Hill, uh, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. Oh yeah. Ray Liotta looks crazy. Yeah. yeah, but I think they get this 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 you know this 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 morphia where they yeah and they don't see themselves and that, and then they just go to yeah far. it's a psychological issue you but know it, it's a real yeah. like psychological thing of wanting more and more and you just don't see the perfection i mean it's the same thing michael jackson went through it's just like yeah. more and more it's not enough and, you and, keep and doing then the it swelling and doesn't go down yeah. what you call it stallone looks crazy like some people i know i know of people through friends that have clients mm -hmm. in different businesses yeah and uh they deal with older women who live alone say with their cats yeah and do a ton of shit to themselves. And like you're like, okay, well, I guess your cats, you're doing this for your cats? I don't know, whatever. Maybe it makes you feel good. Yeah. But then if you have a partner, I wonder how a man, how does a man truly feel? Is is Because some women like it when a man goes, you know what, baby? I love you. Right. And I right. married you. So don't, do, don't touch your face. And other <laughs> men must appreciate it because they want a younger, like, how does that work for I a man? Don't, I don't... <clears throat> I don't, I don't know how think much we say see it. the difference. Yeah. You don't? So if, if <clears throat> most In fact, it, it bothers me. I, it, for yeah. me personally, yeah. um, I, I, it, I, there was a girl I was dating, and I thought her body was perfect. Yeah. And she got lipo and she looked amazing. Yeah. But I, it, I didn't need it. But I think a body is different because you get your... Your eyes yeah. are the windows to your yeah, soul. Yeah, 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 so if yeah, you're yeah. looking at your girlfriend and she yeah. comes home as the new Tori Spelling, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, she's a bad example because we already said, yeah, because you're like, like I'm, I'm great. Yeah, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm great. Cool. Which, whatever yeah, you yeah. do, yeah, change, do it. Yeah, yeah. change this. But shit. if you if think of somebody and then they come home and totally different, what do you think goes through most men's mind? Like now I have to fall in love with this face, or is it so easy to just? I don't think guys look at it like that. No? If you're fucking me and blowing me, I'm pretty much okay. But yeah. I, I think. A lot of times men go, I don't, uh, I don't like, like the the the, the la like the lashes, like you know, like all yeah, these girls have these huge. We don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. worry about it. We you have never given a fuck no. about lashes yeah, ever. Yeah. No. Not one drop of sperm has been spent on masturbating about lashes. Right. We don't care. That's or you for have women. too many, or you have too little. Nobody gives a I shit. Gives, I never yeah. once thought I about it. I find this is that a uh, a guy with a woman who who aggressively is sexually attracted to you. Yeah. Wants to fuck you, wants to suck your dick, wants to, you know, that's more of a turn on than anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The energy um, is more of a turn on than Yeah, that. oh, absolutely. Cause look, sometimes, I mean, I, I've dated women who are extremely attractive, and then the energy is just like, after a while, them as a person is not great. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's okay. Yeah. And then you just get kind of bored with it. You don't give a shit after a while that they're... You know that they they have all the makeup and everything and the, all the they extensions. They don't give a fuck. They right. don't give a shit. And then there's a girl who's okay, okay cute, but the energy is there. That kind of matters more in the long run. It's I think more about like the energy that you have. I that connection. Say if you appreciate a man, he'll never stop giving you. He'll never stop giving you whatever. Whatever you need. Yeah. 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 Unless you come home looking like uh, what is that? Tori Catwoman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, cat, yeah. What is that lady? Yeah, yeah, the lion, the lion Queen. Lion Queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, but, you know, this is somebody who literally has some kind of mental illness. Totally. Already. Yeah. So, I mean, we're, you know, we're talking about the, but I think, you know, I've always said this to the same token. If you, you emasculate your man and you ain't shit and this and that, 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 he will find somebody else. You cut his dick off, he'll find somebody else to pin his dick back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll find somebody that says you're great, you, I love what you are, and blah, 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 blah. But I also think that's a certain kind of man because some men uh, become little boys as they grow up. I feel like they're what like. In what sense? Like, I mean, like 70 year olds. Like, like, like they don't, um, they need their mommy in a way. Don't you think that's true? I, I don't know. I'm like, not sure I don't what think I, I'm trying to think of someone without saying any. Put it this way I have, a, I have certain friends, and their parents, the mother is still very social. 
Mm-hmm. And the father sits on the couch. I have a lot, and I'm not even saying yeah, that like it's my parents. A, a lot of parents. I don't parents. think that's a. I, 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 I think that's what like I, giving up on. Here's what. It, oh yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's giving up, but I think it no? looks more like I just don't. I don't want to do shit. Like I don't oh. want to fucking. I, I've done that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. want to do. Most of the time, a guy. If he's going here and doing these things, he don't want to do. He's doing that because he want you want him to do it. Yes, he's that's going true. on vacation. No, that's true. And then there comes a time when you're older and you go, I don't want to fucking do this. That's so funny because we're going to Prague on Thursday in two days, mm-hmm. and I'm planning all of it. And how old is your <laughs> right. dude? He's 54. Right, so he's a year but he's like, I'll go. But he's so, like, I'm not dealing with this shit. And I'm like, but I like, see, I like, tra- I love right, traveling. Yeah. Right, right. And, and I love planning that shit. So I'm all about, like, I'll find the hotel in this perfect location. I'll find what we're going to do. And also, right. it's my birthday, so right, it's kind right. of my trip. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, that um, makes it a lot easier. Yeah. My dad just went on vacation now, and, and my girl was asking him, like, are you excited? He goes, no. No. He goes, not at all. Uh, he goes, I'm, you know, it's and she and she was like, why is he not excited? I go, because he's there's a lot to do. He's got to leave this house. He's got to make sure everything is taken care That's of. So Somebody's funny. there. It's, not, well, it's, it's a pain easy. in the ass. It becomes a it pain in the ass. It costs you money. It costs you time. time and it costs you yeah. energy. And it's not something you want to do. Yeah. Because if it was something you want to do, you would go do it. Yeah. But it's interesting to me that a lot of men are like that. Yeah, because uh, what is that? It's, it's just the that responsibility. You guys... Because the responsibility of the relationship is always on the guy. My mm. value as a man is attached to my ability to provide. Okay. Your value is the fact that I love you, you're attractive, and you fuck me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the fact that everything is on me to do. And the fact that it's funny, me and me and Harry had this conversation. We've had this conversation for a couple of episodes. Sure. And we was, you know, people always say relationships are compromises, right? Yeah. And he goes, "Yeah, I got to do this," and he's going, "I got to do this, I got to do that, I got to." And I go, "That's not compromise." That's correct. Yeah, it's not. Relationships is compromise when you, as the woman, do shit that you don't want to do. Right. Right. And I do shit that I don't want to do. Me. Doing whatever you want me to do so you shut the fuck up is not a compromise. Yeah. And I don't think that women see that, that I don't want to do this. I don't give a fuck about none of this. I would rather sit home and watch TV, yeah. Yeah. go to work and stuff, and this is easy. Now, if you want me to do, but I also think that guys are dishonest in the fact that they don't say that. Yeah. yeah. They don't say, like, I will not do shit that I don't want to do. Yeah. Like, I remember being in a situation where I was dating a girl and she loved uh, she loved Broadway play. I hate Broadway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But she was like, um, it would mean a lot or whatever. I no, she see said, uh, would you be interested in going to the Lion King? And I was like, yeah, I would do that. Right now, my, I got a bad knee. I got a bad back. I'm three hundred pounds. Like, so she made sure that I had the right seat on the corner so I could put my leg in the aisle. I had to watch so I didn't trip the elephants as they went by. I was in the front <laughs> so I could stretch out. See, but but it worst. was a real consideration. She yeah. really made yeah, it yeah. comfortable for me. She made it easy for me, and so I would do it. Now, if she hadn't done that and it was something she wanted to do, I would want to do, but I'm confident enough to say, I want to do that. But did you do it? Be, you don't want to do that. So why did you do it? No, I didn't mind Lion King. I was okay. like, oh, I've never seen that. And it, that would be interesting. And it's a show I might like. I might far, like yeah. to okay. go do it. And she it did was, every. She presented everything in the best possible scenario as yeah. far as, as opposed to going, hey, do you. Because do you she also, to- if she wanted to do something, she'd go do it. If yeah. you yeah, want yeah, to go yeah, club yeah. in or whatever, yeah. you fucking go. I'm not. I'm no, not I go. I get that because there are certain places. It's so funny because you know this. Obviously, we're still in COVID, but like mm-hmm. even a year ago, I was like, I want my next birthday to be like away. You know, you want to do something. I want to do yeah. something away. I'm. You know, obviously, we were all sick of COVID. Mm-hmm. I was like, let's do something. Yeah. And my one of my dreams has been to go to an African safari. Mm. And he was like, no. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, okay, I can always go to an African safari with other people. Right, right, right. But for my birthday, let's pick a place. So we, you know, we picked Prague. But I mean, it is that thing where you're like, I appreciate that he says no. But I also appreciate that he would understand that one day I will go go, with other people. Yeah, Yeah, he's like. 
bitch, go, please. Yeah. yeah. The and the out. same with like Thailand, you know, because it's exotic. No interest. Right, you right, know? right, right. And, but it's funny because, because this man, not, he's worried about you know, the creature comforts. Like, he likes we comfort. Be comfort. Exactly. Yeah. He likes practical versus, what's the other word? Practical versus. Uh, it's like appearance, but it starts with a P. I can't remember. And I'm usually, he's practical. And I'm like, this looks like shit here. Right. We're getting the other thing. He's like, but that's not practical. You right, know? Right, right. Practical versus practicable? No, no. No, no. It's, it's. Pragmatic? No, maybe it's no, not a P. No, like, but it's, it's like, almost like. Uh, maybe it's pretty. Trendy. But, yeah, but it's more like pretty versus, but it's not pretty. But anyway, it doesn't practical matter. But <laughs> Principle, but, philosophical. But yeah. anyway, so. Um, Possible. Shit, what was I going to say? What he likes uh, as opposed to... Oh, oh, but men can be very honest, too, whereas women are more like, oh, that hurts my feelings. If you, got you know a, what I mean? If you, got a, if you have a man, if you got a good... Uh, so it's interesting because you you seem really happy with this dude. That's one of the things I was going to tell you. You seem really happy with this guy. And there's an... And, and I, you know, no, no relationship is all gravy. It's not. But... Yeah. Here's a... You got a guy who... Loves you, finds you attractive, um, wants you to genuinely wants you to be happy, but he's also very clear about what yes. makes him happy. Yes. And he's not, doesn't take it personal that you want to do other things. A lot of younger women, if you're have, you see this all the time. You see it in the movies, you see it guys all the time. They're out with their friends and then they don't want them to have, shut up, guys, shut up. I got to call my wife. And then yeah. because the wife feels, if you're having fun with, so, there's a subtext. If you're having fun without me, you don't love me. That's yeah. really you what's me, in You it. don't need me. Right. And yeah. the fact that you don't love me is painful to me. But I, it, but if you, if you articulate to them that, hey, this doesn't mean I don't love you. I, mm. I just don't want to do this. But I also think it's an older thing. Like, yes. we all become less sensitive, I think, as we get older. You know, like, some people. Like, but... like he told me, he goes, I hate that. I hate January birthdays. I'm sorry. He mm. goes, I just spent the holidays vacationing with my son. Right. And now I have to go away with you. Right. And I was like, fuck you. It's my birthday. Yeah, right, right, but right. I can laugh about it. But right. I was, I was kind of like, like in my head, I have the the stereotypical love is you don't hurt the other person's feelings. Right, right. And yeah. I have to go like, okay, Carmen, just it's a calm joke, down. but it's also calm down. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Right. And he's coming, so who cares? Right. He's coming to Prague. So now let me say this: What if you did something at home for your birthday, and then did a birthday trip? March. Another time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, this one was all also because. Um, I think because of everything that's happening yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, just you want to get out. I mean, it's yeah. not like I do this every year. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. like, let's go. We we do pick other dates. How long have you guys been together? Six years. Okay. So, yeah. So, so yeah. And it's, so, so it's more the, the COVID and just the things. You and just, everything. I, and I'm just the kind of person who literally, like, it, I could go somewhere for three months. And he's, I'm well, more of a let's go home. somewhere. Yeah. And he loves to be home. Right. He's addicted to comic books. All of our bookcases are full of comic books, wow. which I'm fine with. I find it fun and cute right. and right, colorful. Right. right. You know, and he's a writer, so he loves to be home. Uh -huh. Um, and I if I'm home all day, I'm gonna pull my hair out. I like to either go running or do things. Right. So it's it's an interesting combination of like, let's find a happy medium. And he'll do things with you if you and he'll do shit that you he doesn't want to do if you ask him to do it. But the point is, and I, this is what I talk about, the compromise. Yeah. yeah. If you ask me, to, if I say, I don't want to do this, and you go, I really, this is really important to me, ah, da, 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 I really yeah. want to do this. As a man, you don't want your woman to be unhappy. Yeah. yeah. So Because if she's unhappy, then you're a failure as a man. See, I always say a man has to put his happiness first, because if you don't, she won't. I know, right. but I think everyone has to put their happiness first. I, but, women do, though. But here's feel like yeah. women do. put them their yeah, happiness. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about what you like and what you yeah. don't like. It'll definitely come up at yeah. least first. But this yeah. is what I this is how I said it to him because I know who he is. Right. Sure. I said for this birthday coming up, you don't have to get me anything, and obviously he will. Yeah. But I said you don't have to get me anything as long as you come on this trip that I'm planning. Right. And don't. You know, don't be a pain about it just because it's like you don't want to travel. Wanna do, right, right, right. And he's like, 
Yeah, it's your birthday. Okay, you know what I mean, yeah, right? But but I want you to. Here's what you don't. What I think women don't understand. Their assumption is that if I like this and I want to do it, why would you yes, not? Yes. I don't fucking like what you like. Yeah, yeah. And you that's okay. You don't, you don't want me to be who you are. If I was who you were, you wouldn't like me. Exactly. But I also like the idea of if you're not going to do this, just know. That I'm still gonna do it, that, but I'm inviting you. But if you say no, it's not gonna stop me. Right, you know, right. and that I think is healthy too. Sure, sure. Well, I, that also I, comes with maturity, though, yeah. and, and the yeah. ability yeah. not yeah. to take and things that's personally. The difference. That's the I'm sorry. Be, oh, because for me, like my my whole thing is, I when we have these things, I'm not worried about saying no, the way I was at a younger when I was younger in dating. Yeah. When I was young, I think it all starts in the beginning. It's like when you're up front and you go, no, that doesn't interest me. And not in a mean or malicious way, yeah. but you're just honest. Yeah. No, I'm not interested in it. No, I, that's not. I, I might do that. You can you build up that way. So you that's the understanding in the relationship. But right. that comes from the ability and willingness to say no without fear. Right. Like for without me, without fear of losing the, the thing that keeps my relationship going is that I'm not afraid to lose it if I had to. I don't want to, but yeah. I don't have a fear and that I'm not held hostage by well I can't I don't want to piss her off that's why because it'll end you know that's why I'm I'm almost like so surprised and in awe of long long relationships because I feel like you change so much like people who've been together since they were 23 mm -hmm. like at least when you break up I don't know but for me when I break up in relationships I'm like oh my god how did I not see that right. that is something I'm going to keep my eyes open with now like I have a new filter and a new awareness sure, yeah. And when you're with the same person, I think it's some. It's got to be harder after 20 years to be like, you know, that thing you do, I fucking hate it. Right. And now I'm gonna be like, I don't know. Like it's it's pretty impressive. Unless of course you're honest about the things that you like and the things you don't yeah. like in the first place. Yeah. If you are, so I think what happens is you 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 create a pretense that you feel uh, people understand, and then they go, well, you've always you never had yeah. a problem with it before. Yeah. And and. You know, one of the things Harry says is like, I'm I'm afraid. I don't want the relationship to end, but I'm willing to end the relationship. I think that's a kind of a short-sighted way to look at it. Mm -hmm. What you got to look at it is is that listen, uh, people grow and people change. Yeah, we are we're together and we're trying to make this work. I genuinely like you. I genuinely care about you. You're attractive to me and whatever. Now, if there's things that you want to do that I don't want to do. There has to, if there's a compromise, a true compromise, not I want to do what you want to do so you shut the fuck up, yeah. or I want to do because I'm afraid of losing the relationship. I don't like if I don't want to. That's wanna not a compromise. That's a hostage situation. Right, it's a hostage yeah. situation. Yeah. It's blackmail. If you, if I go, I don't like this, and then you're offended because I don't like this, you don't give a fuck about me. Right. We we read we did a listener mail for people that write, and this guy was like his girl. He was dating his girl for six years, and then she bought her own ring. They're in their twenties. She's like, "You foxing around, and I bought. I'm gonna buy my own ring, and I'm gonna set up the wedding." And then, and I'm like, "He doesn't want to. Y'all been together six years. He doesn't want, but he won't say. Yeah, right. I don't want to get married. Right. And she, I go, and he's guilty because he felt like they've been together for six years. I said, but you really shouldn't feel guilty because she knows you don't want to ma get married. That's not stopping her. She right. don't give a fuck. Yeah. So if you're in any relationship where you don't care about each other's happiness, there's a mistake in but that. But also, how do you know that she's not just buying the ring? Cause she, like, is she okay with just having mm -hmm. the ring and not getting married? Because, like, we're not married and I'm okay with that. Yeah, but, but if I wanted to buy a ring, can I just pretend? You're, you're, it's, that's not what, that's not the same oh, thing. Oh, it's not? Yeah. Okay. Mm. You're, I mean, look, you're with an older mm. guy who's, who's really comfortable about who he is. Yeah. This is what I am. You want it? You don't want, if, as, if there comes a time where it's not fun for him, he will leave. Right. And same. Yeah, me too. And you too. And yeah. that's yeah. the healthiness of it. The problem is when, uh, he, you know Keith and the girl. Yeah. Okay, so Keith came here years ago. Keith Malley. Keith Malley, his, his, was his first wife? I believe it was his first wife. First wife. He came and he's like, yeah, I got to talk about this. He was still talking about it. He was like how his ex-wife used to open, leave the cabinets, the kitchen cabinets. So she would get stuff out and leave the kitchen cabinets. And then she would go to the bathroom and she would lose all, use the towels and leave the towels on the floor. And he kept, he's like, why do you, you know, clean up the towels, kid? Um... 
And why do you keep leaving the cabinets open? And so he came here, and I said, my advice was take all the cabinet c- off the off the thing. <laughs> yeah. And he said he was like he thought it was a joke, and then he ultimately ended up getting divorced. Yeah. From He's not with the reason why the point wasn't the cabinets. The point is this is a woman who doesn't give a fuck that I'm if I'm telling you you do this and it bothers, and it me. bothers yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. she goes, I don't give a fuck whether yeah. it bothers you. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna leave these cabinets open. I'm gonna use all the towel, leave wet towels over, and I don't give a fuck about you. The problem is not the cabinets. You they, I people wanna jump on me because they think that my response is extreme. But my response is not extreme. It's it's relevant to the fact that she don't give a fuck about you. Right, right. And you're arguing because you're 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 debating with her. Could you please? You could you please? You shouldn't have to say that more than once. Right. What is it for you to adjust and and close the cabinets? Right. And that I mean that is something that like, you know, is is easy to work on. Like, they're every couple. I have it with my boyfriend. Like, there's certain things that, that he'll be like, will you stop doing this? Or I'll be like, will you stop doing this? Right. You know what I mean? Sure. But those are things that I'm like, okay, I see why it bothers him. Or he, you know, or vice versa. And even it's not that. Yeah. It's like, if you love this guy, why why make him miserable? But I also have, and this is not a, the towels thing is not a good example of this, but there are certain things that he's like, why do you put this over here? And I'll be like, because, I can't think of something right now, right, right, right. because of this, you know? Right, logic and step, he's like, yeah. oh, okay, okay then. Okay, yeah, I Because yeah. it's reasonable. But you, exactly. But you can't say that about towels on the floor, because there's no reason to right, hide all, the, all the cabinets, mold. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. All cabinets open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. then when I say to you, this bothers me, yeah. and you go, I don't give a fuck. yeah. It, Where do you go from there? It's, there's nowhere. You don't. I mean, if that's the me. issue, imagine something. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. deeper. You don't yeah. give a fuck about me. It ain't gonna I, get better. It's not gonna yeah, get better. Yeah. And, it, and the disrespect. And I was trying to explain to him that this is not about the towels. This mm. is about somebody who doesn't love you. That's what. Did it you is. say that before or after the divorce? I said it before, before oh. during, several times. And this is about somebody yeah, who yeah, doesn't yeah. love you and doesn't yeah. give a fuck about your happiness. Yeah. And if somebody doesn't give you, you can't be in a relationship where you care about somebody's happiness and they don't give a fuck about you. Get out of the relationship. Yeah. And that's a simple gesture. Yeah. It, it's a very and it's simple. a little that's thing, issue, yeah. but it's the raw shack test again. This is yeah. like mm. you, 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 you're, she's. At the base level, she's a selfish individual who doesn't give a fuck about your comfort. Yeah. And it, it manifests itself in in wet towels and open cabinets. Right. And sure enough, I could see that this you're not gonna how long are you gonna because it's not just gonna it's not gonna be towels and cabinets, it's gonna be a whole lot it'll of stuff. It'll be something else. And it'll continue yeah. because I don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. And and I think you as you get older. You've had enough situations to know that just because you don't, I mean, I mean, the other thing is, like, as a comic, you you have your act. Everybody don't like your act. Some people just, you're not their cup of tea. Right. And we have to learn to move on and go, I, okay, I, everybody's not going to like me. When you were young, you, you worried about, you know, it's funny because we we had uh, Aronovich, we had Rich. Here. Yeah. Yeah. And Rich has really done a lot of work on himself, but Rich was the dude who would be on stage, be killing, and then the one person in the front who doesn't laugh, he would get so fixated on that because of his own insecurity, and then he would, then he would literally turn the rest of the audience against him because. He was so worried about this person that doesn't like you and not even take into consideration the people who did like you. Right. Um, plug your stuff. We're going to do a, something for the Patreon. Oh, uh, okay, quick, okay. Real quick. and then we're... So all my socials are at Carmen Comedian, and uh, all my dates are CarmenLynch.com, and there's a bunch coming up. I think Omaha, Syracuse, Vermont, a bunch of stuff, all on my website. Very, very Carmen funny. Carmen is fantastic. Very, very yeah, funny. If you get a chance, okay. see Carmen. A lot of times I go, man, she's really funny, but mm. I really mean it. Yeah. Like this, this time I mean it. <laughs> Harry, talk to me. Uh, all my social media is at Harry Turjanian, uh, especially the stuff on TikTok. I'm going to be uploading more stuff on that, but at Harry Turjanian. Okay, uh, me, everything. Google me, bitch. You know me, Dante Nero, Dante Nero.com if you want a one-on-one consultation. Uh, click on consult. Also, don't forget the Patreon. Follow us, uh, lo- you know, log in and uh, subscribe on the Patreon. That really helps us keep doing this. 
Uh, that's uh, patreon.com slash manschool202. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. And I love y'all, man. Uh, check us on the other side. If you want to know what we're talking about, we're going to dig in deep on the other side. Um, love you. We are out.